the new Exopixel website is finally here. After several weeks of designing and developing the new theme, I'm so glad to finally release it. Now, I want to share with you all the changes and updates that help create the new site. As always, I created a mock-up of the website design before I started the development phase. In the past, I would jump straight into coding, but it's so important to see what works and what doesn't in regards to fonts, colors, layouts, before you type any code. The top main navigation menu has improved so much compared to the previous website design. The logo is now an SVG, before it was a PNG, and it looks great on all screens because it's a vector. The actual menu items are more user friendly, the font size is larger, and the drop down menu items have a subtle down arrow which indicates it's a submenu. On the right hand side, there's a login logout button which says either login or logout depending on your member account status. Finally, the search icon on click reveals a search field, and without moving your mouse, you can easily click the X to close the search field. This is a huge improvement since on the old site it required a whole page reload on a new search page in order to get to the search field. A small yet huge improvement. The featured article focuses on the most recent article on exopixel.com each and every week. Instead of overwhelming a visitor with three to four articles as soon as they visit the site, which was on the previous site, I wanted to only focus on one article. If they wish to see more, they can scroll down and explore our homepage topic sections or by exploring using the navigation menu. The overall layout on the homepage and archive pages combine both large and medium sized article cards. They are similar to the cards that were found on the previous website design, but as you can see, there have been subtle changes. The site uses two new fonts, Futura PT and Georgia. Futura PT is a gorgeous web font from Typekit. I was debating whether or not I should use a web font this time around since I wanted to reduce page loading time on my site. However, the design nerd in me just couldn't accept being basic. Instead, I compromised by finding other ways to optimize the site, and I also used a system font, Georgia, as the main body font, and then the web font, Futura PT, for headings. As with all WordPress themes, PHP, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and jQuery were used to develop it. What I did differently this time around was use SAS instead of regular CSS to style the site. SAS is literally the best thing ever. CSS can get redundant after a while. SAS just helps to reduce all the little repetitive things. This time around, I've also started using Amazon Web Services to cache images on my website to help speed up page loading time. The images on most websites, including exopixel.com, are so large and take up so much time to load. I was well aware that page loading time on the previous site was too slow for comfort. CDNs are a must for blogs, especially since they usually host large media files like images and videos, which add up over time. Overall, I love the new site design. The theme colors stay true to the Exopixel brand, gray and pink, despite introducing two new colors, gold and blue. The layout is the perfect fit for my vertical featured images. I'm also glad that I was able to improve the UX and accessibility of the site. If you see anything that looks weird on the site or if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave a comment below so I can look into it. I hope you find this video helpful for your future web design projects. In honor of the launch of the new design, I'm giving away 10 Exopixel sticker packs. Be sure to read the description box for details. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Exopixel for more design code and tech videos. I'll see you in the next video.